<laughs> so had you guys been Glee fans before? We yes. had, yeah. So what was it like on that first day on set doing a Glee solo on Glee? Completely 100% surreal, mm -hmm. I think, is the best way to describe it. Mm -hmm. I mean, so many iconic performances have been done on that stage, and getting to do our solos on there was amazing. Yeah. So. yeah. Especially that they were solos. Right, you know, yeah. It was like it would, a solo yeah. right off the bat on right. that stage was incredible, intimidating, to say the least. Well, and Melissa, your solo is really not really a solo. It's really more of, That's a, true. of a duet with someone who mm -hmm. isn't there. Was that uh, a challenge? It wasn't because, you know, I just sang the entire song that I had recorded. I, have, I still haven't even heard Leah's version. So it wasn't, a, it wasn't difficult, but <laughs> in that sense. <laughs> it cuts together nicely. Don't worry. OK. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me quickly a little bit about each of your characters. I am playing Jake Puckerman, uh, who is Noah Puckerman's younger half-brother. And he's kind of coming into McKinley as a little bit of an outcast uh, with his walls up. So we'll see kind of if that gets in the way of him joining the Glee Club or not. And Marley Rose is a new student at McKinley. Um, she's got a bit of a, a difficult past and is kind of, you know, stuck in her shell and I think ready to break out, break free. And already from the premiere at least, there, there are hints at potential for romance between the two of you. That's there what the editing wants us to believe. Be. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you guys know about the future of what's going on with your two characters? A bit. A, know bit. a bit, yeah. You'll have to see what happens. <laughs> That's, I guess, all I can say. <laughs> you obviously don't know how Glee felt before they went and did this two different sides of the story thing that yeah. they're doing this season. But how does it feel with sort of part of the cast that you watched previously there and the other part just not there at all? Well, we all shoot um, on the same lot, so we kind of see the other kids. We right. don't really work with them, but I think a few times we've actually seen them shooting scenes as in New York. Yeah. Um, I think the, it is a new, I think it's a new beginning for them, too, because yeah. a lot of them have been saying, oh, you know, there used to, there was a time where there would be like 16 people in this choir room. Yeah. And now it's so much smaller. So much and more tight-knit, yeah. I think it's different for them as much as it is a learning experience for us. Mm -hmm. well, what does that mean in terms of clickishness on set? Obviously, there are people who have been working together now for a while, and then you're all, you're all the new kids. Well, that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, they do have really established relationships, but. Yeah, you can, kind of, you can sense their chemistry even from watching the show. So going into that was definitely nerve wracking for mm -hmm. us, but they've been unbelievable, so friendly, so nice to yeah. us, so welcoming. An accepting so, group. Yeah, they're really great. But does it to some degree bond you two and the other two new stars? Do you guys sort oh, of? Oh yeah, of course, definitely. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, we're. Because Melissa actually was the first new person that I met, because mm -hmm. we actually read together uh -huh. um, a few times. So definitely bonds us, for sure. But no one's hazing. Not yet. Not I was yet. waiting for they a slushy to the face. Yeah, they yeah, keep they're making, threatening. Yeah, they keep threatening us. Yeah, we'll see if they <laughs> actually do it. I don't know. Cord got was getting everyone the, with a yes, shock, those shock pen pens. the other day. Yeah. He was like, "Look at my new laser pen," and I, I was like, "Laser," and it was. Yep. It hurt. But he was a new kid too at one point. Surely he should know better. <laughs> That's not. I would think, right? <laughs> That's revenge. Okay, and now, <laughs> since you guys know how quickly you go through songs on this show. What would you like to sing? Give me, give me a song or two that would be sort of your dream. Hmm. I've been really into Frank Ocean recently. Oh man, he's awesome. I would awesome. love to do like Bad Religion or something like that. That's such a beautiful song. I'd love to sing that. Yeah, I love Regina Spector a lot. I think her music is really beautiful mm. and. Yeah, she's awesome. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, thank you guys very much. Great. Thank, thank you. you. Great to meet you. Yeah.